Hello traders, Gary Wagner for Trending Markets. Just before 11 o'clock in Honolulu, 5 o'clock in New York. Happy Aloha Friday as we say on the islands. Last day of the month, July 31st, 2015 and this is Trending Markets. As this week comes to a close, we do have kind of a counter trends in terms of a couple of the markets that we do follow returning for the day to the market. Dow Jones Industrial Equities Markets is down on the day. When we take a look, however, at the week, we do have an up week. You can see that when we look at this single candle here. Markets closing below 17,700 though, down about 56 points on the day. S&P's very, very similar move, but above 2100 off about three and a quarter point on the day now the interesting markets are we did get out of our crude trade and i hate to say that because we've had for a second day in a row this market utterly utterly fall out of bed when you consider that we are now looking at oil at around $46 a barrel, 46.75 roughly in that area, the low 46.73, so we're just off of the lows, 48.62 on the high, and as I said, we've seen this market drop in triple digits yesterday, triple digits uh, today. In fact, the one thing that we are looking at right now of course our target has been 43 on that market we're still roughly three to four dollars away so i believe that we might have an opportunity to reposition ourselves in this market after getting out with that slight very very small trade on the day but we've got the currency trade on i don't want to have too much on our plate at any given time speaking about currencies they have run counter to what we're looking at of course we got in roughly at 97.67 on the long side our stop is 96.25 so we're a good 100 points from there i'm not so concerned about our stop but you can see in terms of highs and lows that this market has been absolutely all over the board today. When we look at the euro dollar, for example, we get the opposite happening, uh, 109.83, and that of course is just above where we initiated a short position. Our stops are at about 111. So we will go in over the weekend, long the dollar, short the euro with it a little bit against us but as i said i believe that our stops should hold so traders because it is the end of the month i kind of wanted to take a really long historical view of the dollar and that's exactly what we're doing this is obviously not a chart that we would ever use for any kind of trading but it kind of puts price perspective uh really into a good framework in which we can see recent highs and lows and where the market is in relationship to where the market has been. This of course is a monthly chart of the dollar index. We know that we have in terms of short term resistance, some resistance at about 98. We also know that the highs that we've seen in this market have been at 100 on the dollar index. Now, when you look at uh, that particular price point on any kind of a shorter term chart and even an interim chart that goes back to say 2009, 2010 in that area, you're looking at a record high because of course this market has not been to these levels. Of course, we haven't seen 100 in, in the last couple of months, but it really hasn't been to these levels, this being 2004 here and then 2000, the beginning of 2003 here. So we've not seen these kinds of prices really since the beginning of 2003 or 12 years. The other thing that really, really sticks out is the fact that when we look at these recent highs at 100, they're not so outstanding when we compare them to the fact that there were points in time specifically at the beginning of 2000 2001 in that area in which this dollar index was all the way up at uh, 120. so in terms of historical perspective there's absolutely 
uh, more room on the top should it return. And then the other thing that's really noteworthy is that we've really gone into almost a sideways uh, trading range over these last call it uh, three four five months or the better part of 2015 because it was right at the right at the beginning of 2015 uh, February this being March right in here when we hit those highs at 100 I still believe that the dollar is going to continue to be strong I believe also that we'll overcome our current level of resistance and that current level of resistance is really at about 98 you can see that on this monthly chart by looking at these series of highs and then between 98 and 100 I think that if in fact we do get this market moving above 98 the next play is 100 and I do believe that over this next year maybe into the beginning of uh, 2016 we will in fact see this market once again return over 100 on the dollar index the the reason being is that I still believe that the US economy is probably the strongest economy globally secondly when we look at what's going on with the euro dollar for example and let's set aside the uh, crisis that's being resolved and not being resolved in Greece but when we take a look at the euro the fact is that they are in a quantitative easing window that should devalue their currency over time to lower pricing when we take that all into account I absolutely see this dollar moving higher this has been Gary Wagner wishing you as always good trading have a great weekend and we will talk to you on Monday for another trending markets bye bye